Hi friends, it's time for your Lexio Divina. We're in Exodus 33, 13 through 17 today. And this is an exchange between the Lord and Moses. And we get a peek into the hunger for the Lord's presence that Moses has. So as you get ready for the scripture, I just invite you to take a few deep breaths or whatever it is that you do in order to cultivate a space of stillness to receive the Lord. I'm going to take my three deep breaths. Lord Jesus Christ, you are here. You said that you would never leave us or forsake us. And so we press into that right now, asking you to cause us to become aware of your presence, to open up our spiritual awareness. In Jesus' name. And as always, we ask, speak, Lord, for your servants are listening. So I'm going to read this scripture three times. And this first time, just for familiarity, just to get used to the sound of the words. And then the second and third time, I'll lead us through and turn our eyes to the Lord in prayer. If you are pleased with me, Moses asked, teach me your ways so I may know you and continue to find favor with you. Remember that this nation is your people. The Lord replied, my presence will go with you and I will give you rest. Then Moses said to him, if your presence does not go with us, do not send us up from here. How will anyone know that you are pleased with us and with your people unless you go with us? What else will distinguish me and your people from all the other people on the face of the earth? And the Lord said to Moses, I will do the very thing you have asked because I am pleased with you and I know you by name. So this time as you listen, listen for a word or phrase that's causing you to desire to pay more attention, to, to, um, to lean in, to listen deeper. If you are pleased with me, teach me your ways so I may know you and continue to find favor with you. Remember that this nation is your people. The Lord replied, my presence will go with you and I will give you rest. Then Moses said to him, If your presence does not go with us, do not send us up from here. How will anyone know that you are pleased with me and with your people unless you go with us? What else will distinguish me and your people from all the other people on the face of the earth? And the Lord said to Moses, 
I will do the very thing you have asked because I am pleased with you and I know you by name. Go ahead and spend a moment with that word or phrase or, or just sit in silence, allowing it to come to the surface. This time, as you listen, listen for an invitation. What is the Lord inviting you to know, to do, or to become? If you are pleased with me, teach me your ways so I may know you and continue to find favor with you. Remember that this nation is your people. The Lord replied, my presence will go with you and I will give you rest. Then Moses said to him, if your presence does not go with us, do not send us up from here. How will anyone know that you are pleased with me and with your people unless you go with us? What else will distinguish me and your people from all the other people on the face of the earth. And the Lord said to Moses, I will do the very thing you have asked because I am pleased with you and I know you by name. I'll go ahead and listen for an invitation. Time now to respond to the Lord. What is being stirred up within you? What emotions, what questions, what concerns that you'd like to tell him about? Lord Jesus Christ, thank you for planting this seed in our life. We pray that you would water it and cause us to grow. We pray that your presence will go with us. We know that it does. 
we pray that you would strengthen us to receive it that you would strengthen our will strengthen our desire strengthen our ability to be attentive to your presence so that we can acknowledge you that we can receive you that we can listen and obey that we can receive the loving word that is always coming i pray lord that you would cause this gifting to be stirred up in us in jesus name we pray so that we may have rest in your presence and know who and whose we are in jesus name amen and now friends may you know today that you are being held in the hollow of god's hand have a wonderful day friends